Hello guys, Sajid is here with a new video and in this video we will see how we can use uh, jQuery and jQuery plugin in, in React.js okay so the very first step is to create a React.js project I copy this command and I open my terminal here okay uh, my project name is Mac uh, React jQuery underscore friends okay we are going to make both friends so both will work each other jQuery will start working in react.js this will take some time that's why I pause the video okay so as you can see the the project is created now I, I go to this project and sorry yes and now I open this project in VS code okay so I start this project in the me, me okay now okay let's wait okay in the meanwhile we should install jQuery so what is the command this is the command to install jQuery I click on this plus uh, to open new terminal okay you can also open from here okay now in one terminal the the react server is starting and in the another terminal I am installing jQuery if you need third terminal you can click on this plus button and if you want to delete you can click on this delete button okay the project is almost started starting the development server okay it is started now so you can see this is the app.js file which you can see in the browser so this is functional component I don't like functional component I I mostly use class based components so this is my class based component and I write some code here input uh, let's say dot class name is uh, let's say name and uh, the value here is uh, let's say Sajid Javed okay so now let's see I refresh and you can see the text box is here okay now what I do um, jQuery is installed or not okay it is still install, uh, installing so I think we should wait but we will write we will write our our jquery code in component dead mount method okay i hope you already know this method this is a life cycle hook or life cycle method here in this in this method we will write our jquery code we should wait until jquery install okay as you can see the jquery is installed so now what i do i import jquery sorry from jquery okay now i use this okay i, I check i test that the that it is working or not okay so how i can test First, I use uh, I select this input okay so the, the name okay this is the selector and then I want to see the value okay if the value is logged to the console then this means that it is working if, if not then this means that it is not working okay so I open first open the terminal and uh, yeah, it's working already you can see 
okay so this means jquery is working the next step is to install this plugin okay this is the jquery plugin which uh, i will use in this video just to show you how we can use jquery plugin in in the rake js so i copy this and i hope this will install very quick why not pasting let me copy it again okay and uh, i will use it something like this okay here i remove this okay i also change you know my text box uh, okay this is the html code which i will use okay instead of this text box first of all i require this library so how i can require this i just write this okay i will do like this require sorry uh, require here i use the library name and uh, okay now i use this code okay here instead of this and what is my selector okay what is the input field name the name is time so i i format the code and let's see it is working or not it is saying jquery is not found even it is the jquery is available is uh, dollar sign but i want to make it available is uh, jquery also okay now this dollar sign which is uh, actually storing jquery this is also available as jquery you know capital q let's see yes it is working now so i select time i select uh, you know 14 then i select 30 so you can see this is the time okay i select 10 i select 50 so you can see this is the time okay so you you saw uh, how jquery how we can you know create regjs project then how we can install the jquery how we can import jquery how we can install the jquery plugin by npm how we can import the plugin and how we can use the plugin in uh, in component dit mount function okay so very easy method and now you can use any jquery plugin like this okay and sometime uh, you you also need to make uh, this variable you know globally available this is small q this is capital q okay if you don't know what is this sign text then let me show you window dot variable jquery so i open this one so actually you can read this where you can read this okay we are just uh, uh, you know making declaring global variable okay this is this is also global variable this is also global variable this is capital Q, this is small Q, and it is storing, both are storing jQuery, okay? Please read this description, you will understand what is, uh, uh, what are we doing here. So, I hope you, you understand this topic, and uh, I think this is very important, because uh, the jQuery and Rick should support each other, and both should be friends, should be friends, if they are, and uh, if we can use jQuery in RegJS, then then our life will be, you know, will become very easy, easier. Thank you.